Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. And in this box is a model kit that I am very excited. In fact, I have never been this excited to share a model kit with you ever. And that is because underneath this box right here is my first model kit. This is the very first test shot of the Andy's Hobby Headquarters M4A3 EH Sherman in 116 scale. And it's been a long, long time coming. I've been working on this project for close to a year and I can finally share the very first test shot. Now, before we take the box off, remember this is a test shot. So there still needs to be welds and cast texture and cast numbers and a few other little minor things to, uh, to add to the molds because there's still a little bit of ways, but this is to show how the fit and how the general shape of the vehicle is, and it is stunning looking underneath here. It also does come with a figure, which I do have a sample of the figure as well, and let's take a look at it right now. So here it is, it is a beaut. And uh, what I'm going to do today is we're not going to have a build video because actually uh, the, uh, the owner of Tacom was so excited about this kit, he built this one up for me and sent it to me already built up. So I plan on building a, a couple of them myself, but today I'm going to show you all of the sprues because I have a big pile of sprues. In fact, there are 18 separate sprues in this kit. Some of them will have multiples of those sprues, so it's going to be a lot of plastic inside here. But uh, today we're gonna take a look at all of the sprues and then I'm gonna show you some close up views of the actual tank, of the test shot once again. But uh, that way you can get an idea what it's actually gonna look like and man, I am so excited to share this with you. Also, as you can imagine, the pre-orders for this kit start right now. So if you wanna pre-order this kit, I know we've gotten hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of emails from around the world that uh, when can we order it? Well, you can start ordering it today. So you can go on our website right now, andyshhq.com, and pre-order this kit. In Europe, it's andyshhq.eu. And also, this is going to be available in hobby shops around the world, Australia, Japan, all of Europe, everywhere you can imagine on this. And if you are a hobby shop and you're wondering how I can get a hold of these, what you can do is if you are a hobby shop around the world and you get Das Work, you will be able to order it from the same distributor, Das Work, that as for this kit here. So that company is Model Balconic. They are our international distributor for this, and if they, they'll be able to get you Das Work and this kit as well. So you'll be finding it in hobby shops everywhere, and more information will start rolling out to the distributors in those other countries very, very soon. But rest assured, they're gonna be all around the world. So we want everybody to have this beautiful American tank right here, because how often do you see 16 scale American anything for that matter? But yeah, okay, I, I'm gonna keep talking and talking, but I wanna show you these parts right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it over to the bench and we're gonna show you the kit and all of the parts. So let's get started. And here it is, here it is up close. And I'm just gonna point this out one more time. I just wanna make sure you guys are 100% sure of this. This is the very first test shot. So the welds inside here are not there yet. They will be in the final production model, but they're not there yet. The cast texture on the turret, not there yet, but it will be in the final production. Cast texture on the transmission cover, all of the little stamp, or excuse me, cast serial numbers will be all over it. All of that will be on the final production model. This is, once again, just for taking a look at how the, the shape and how the overall fit of the pieces are. And it looks like it goes together wonderfully. Now, a couple quick things I'll point out to you. Uh, obviously, we have the, the earlier tracks for the EZ8 Sherman. These are the T66 tracks. You will have on this kit, let me turn this like this, the... Suspension is movable. You can see here, movable up and down. The tracks are 100% workable and actually work very, very well on this kit. So you can put different things. If you want to put it on a diorama and you want one of the, the tracks up in the air like that, or however you want to do it, this makes it very, very easy so that if you want to put it in any type of position, it is like that. 
Also, we have little minor things like this, like the rear view mirrors. They are functionable in the sense that they can, you know, rotate in different directions. We have over here up on the top, the machine gun lock. This thing actually can move up and down and it will lock into place just like that. All of the turret hatches will open as well. Pop that one up and like, oh, well, I guess it can't open while that's locked, but, uh, but you get the idea. The turret hatch will open up. I'm gonna pull the figure out. I'll show you the figure in a second here, but then little minor details that they just captured so well, like the grab handle right here, that uh, for grabbing the hatch real quick to shut it. In an event of an emergency, we're gonna flip this around and even little minor things like this, but just caught my eye because it's just so cool. Check out this little tiny locking mechanism that when you put it in, it locks it right there. So you can actually lock the turret uh, hatch open and then just pop it and it unlocks again. Obviously all of the the periscopes and all that are clear. I put a coat of primer over the entire model just because it looks better on camera. Now, here is the, the figure. I'm going to show you him just close up. This is just right out of the box. And just put together. He has a clear set of goggles that if you want to put on. But I think... Jason just nailed this right here. He did such a wonderful job on this figure. And the figure is included. He has a little hand mic in there. Hopefully you can see that so we can run a wire down to the inside of the, inside the turret. But um, then we'll kind of flip this around here. Let you see the engine deck. Uh, it'll have a couple of gas cans. Of course, all of the tools are on here already. I just, I just love the way the, uh, the tracks and suspension work on that too. Very, very nice. And then just let you see kind of like a profile view here, how, how well they nailed it. And of course, what we can do too is put this guy right here. He's just knocking about over there, sitting on the back of it. His arm fits perfectly on the fender. So we might be able to do a little modification on the arm and you know, of the his left arm now and make put it down so he's not holding a mic or maybe lower it a little bit, put a cup of coffee in his hand. He's just standing around waiting for something to happen. But there it is. That's, that's a quick look. Oh, I will take this off too. This is, uh, let you see inside here. There is full breech detail in here. There are the seats. No other detail inside the turret. Uh, the, the only detail in there is going to be the driver and uh, loader's uh, seat, as well as all of the stuff inside for the gun itself. And drop right into place just like that. So now that you've had a chance to take a look at the, the outside of this uh, piece, oh, also this, the, the gun lock obviously works as well too, that if you want to lock the gun in travel mode, you can do that as well. And there'll probably be some other features, all these hatches, all that kind of stuff open up, but uh, we'll kind of show you more of that as we show you the parts. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the side because this is the perfect opportunity to put it with this guy right here. So you guys know that uh, we have this coming out from TACOM in 16 scale. We're the exclusive on, on this vehicle. And it is going to go perfect, if you haven't noticed, with this E8 Sherman. Um, diorama possibilities galore. So before we take a look at the, uh, the parts, I just want to let you know I don't actually have instructions yet on this kit. So uh, those will be coming very, very soon. And as soon as I have those, I will share those with you. Uh, but let's take a look at the parts now. Here we go. Here is the first part we're going to look at. And it is the lower hull. And see some of the bolt detail, things like that on here. And just the overall size compared to my hand. Next up after that, we have our upper hull. And remembering, I'm gonna point it out one more time, welds, texture are all not on here yet. Will be on the final production model. That looks pretty straightforward. And we're just gonna start going through the, the different parts here and just let you take a look. Now at the end of me talking, I will have stills of all of the uh, the sprues so you can take a closer look so if you want to pause it or zoom in on your computer whatever you want to do you'll be able to see them there is a decent amount of slide molding done on everyone and i'll point out all of those on here as well 
So we have uh, just a lot of bunch of accessories right here. We do have slide molding on this sprue here, as well as slide molding on the side right here. Some of these sprues are really large too, as you can imagine. So here we have our transmission cover up here, our final drives, um, the rear end, the, the, the top of the engine deck minus the, the hatches, just like that. Here is our gun assembly. And this is the internal parts of the gun. Once again, we've got some slide molding up there. Get, try to make it focus on it. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just grabbing the, the sprues as they come right out of the box here. So uh, next luck of the draw is the figure. Let you see him close up. There's his face, very nicely done. Nice pattern on the shoes. And you saw him built up over there. There's his crash helmet. And he comes with a pair of regular uh, plastic goggles too. The clear goggles will be on the clear part sprue. But there is the, uh, the figure. Next up, we have a suspension tree. And, and you'll see right off here, we've got our idler wheels in the back here. These are the little bit bigger wheels, it looked like. And we've got some slide molding done right in through here. You can see all those are all slide molded out. We have our volute springs for the suspension. Nicely done. And the rest of the suspension parts. So there are going to be two Two sets of this, or yeah, two sets of this tree right here that will be included in the kit. One of the things I should point out too, since we're looking at all these, you'll you'll immediately notice because this is a test shot, there are no numbers or any letters on the the sprues yet. Those are all coming too. It'll all be available. That's why putting together the very first test shot is always so much fun because it's trying to figure out all the parts. So you're kind of looking at, hey, what that looks like that fits here, but that that will get added in there somewhere and make it a lot easier for you guys to try to assemble. And here is our 50 cal sprue. It has a couple of gas cans, some slide molding done on that 50 cal barrel and the sleeve. And they turns out they didn't reuse the the uh, the sprue from the uh, the four x four utility vehicle. They went and made a brand new one. So I guess the the mount must be a little bit different. Here are some of the accessories, and I can point those out to you too. Here are the springs on the loader's hatch. Those are done beautifully. That looks like a real spring. It is so deep cut on the way they did that. And here's that little uh, that little grab handle for the commander's cupola. We've got some slide molding on the searchlight. And here's the rest of the searchlight here. And then these are all the little stays in the uh, for, for locking down the 50 cal. Yeah. Hey, this one actually has one of its little tabs right there. So this one is a little bit further along than some of the other. And next up, we have the tracks. And this is what's gonna make this so nice about putting this together because there's only three pieces to the track and one of them is actually the guide horn. So the way these will go together are when you'll cut these off and you'll stack them. So all the injection pin marks are on the inside here. And when you stack it and put the glue on one portion, they fully work. So this is gonna be a very easy set of tracks to put together and they'll completely work and you just have to glue the guide horn in and that's it. And you saw them a minute ago, how nicely they, they operate. Um, I'm not quite sure, how, I didn't do the count yet, but obviously you're gonna get quite a few of these sprues in the kit, probably at least five, I'm thinking. I'd I have to count them up later on to figure out for sure. Here we have our road wheels, and I'll just zoom in here and let you take a look at those. And you'll notice that the rubber is part of the actual wheel now. And this will prevent any problems with trying to put the separate rubber on and having any problems getting it on. Or it's there's a nice big lip on the edge here. 
So painting these will be a breeze. In fact, a, a circle template will probably help out tremendously and you'll be able to quickly put them together and then you won't have any problems putting the rubber on afterward. Uh, once again, multiples on this. Uh, these are your little poly caps, but actually made out of plastic. Should be at least two of these in the kit. So the next, next big giant sprue tree here is this one right here. This has some of the, the mantlet as well as some of the, the gun parts here. We've got the commander's cupola down here. We've got two different types of mantlet cover, and that is because you can put the rain gear on, which you saw I have the rain gear on on the actual model that's built up, but if you don't want to put that on, there's a separate mantlet just for that. Some beautiful slide molding for the muzzle brake. Look at that. That is nice. And then the barrel. The barrel is a two-piece barrel. But wait, don't worry. It is going to come with a turned aluminum barrel too. They always just put this inside here. It's just kind of like force a habit, but it is gonna have an aluminum barrel inside already. And it's beefy too. This is, this is a good size barrel right here. And it's all ready to go. You'll just be able to get that muzzle brake off and glue that right in there and you are ready. There we go. Here are some more parts here. We've got our return rollers, our drive sprocket, uh, engine deck right there as well as some slide molding on there and right there as well. This is another big guy right here. So what we have here is we have our fenders for the side of the vehicle. We've got um, the bolts for the transmission cover, another fender, shovel, some of the different parts just like that. Here is the, uh, the vent for the back. And the way it builds up is just a stacking operation. There we go. You will also get the clear parts tree. So we've got our headlights, our goggles, and all the vision blocks right here too. Inside. And lastly, we have our two turret sprues. Our, uh, you got the lower part of the turret and the upper part of the turret. And you'll see the, the line right there, how they will click together. I was clicking them together off camera. Let's see if I can do this on camera now. They fit together nice, nice straight and true. Got to lock this other side in. There it goes. That is all locked in now. So we got a nice fit on that. Once again, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but I want to point out no cast texture yet. Final production will have cast texture and all the letters and numbers on it. And I'm mainly saying it multiple times throughout this video in case someone just jumps in, fast forwards, and then says, oh, there's no cast texture on that. What a, you know, that's terrible. They should put it on. So if I say it enough times throughout the video, even if you only watch part of the video, you'll hear that part. So that is the final piece of plastic. The only other thing I have to show you right now, too, is the photo etch. Not a heck of a lot, but that, that's 100% fine by me. Uh, I know sometimes they'll give you photo etch pieces for like the light guards i personally don't like any of that it is super hard to bend and keep it straight this way those light guards are all ready to go
So there is a look at the new Andy's Hobby Headquarters 16 scale M4A3 E8 Sherman. And I want to hear from you. What do you guys think? I think it's gorgeous. There are a few things that obviously need to be corrected because it's the first uh, test shot, uh, texture, all that other kind of stuff. But that's all going to get taken care of in the next couple of weeks. Here, of course, is a couple of other 16 scale vehicles to give you a little size comparison. And it's amazing how much taller the Sherman is. Now, granted, a Stug is a very low silhouette vehicle, but still, it sticks up quite a bit higher than that. Now, like I was telling you earlier, these are available for pre-order right now. You can go on our website, andyshhq.com in the United States and andyshhq.eu in Europe, and you can pre-order one right now. Please do. Uh, if I don't sell a lot of these, my wife will never let me hear the end of this. Uh, no, all kidding aside, she's actually been very, very supportive of this. In fact, yesterday she's already given me a group of new ideas to start making. So, uh, who go figure, huh? But um, there it is. Um, let me know how you feel on it there, what you think about it. I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching. And please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.